meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. It was a gorgeous sunrise this morning with the sun shining up on those clouds, making a gorgeous shot in Kettering here. This is from Farmer Tom with Spring Pines Farm there near 675 in Kettering. And that's Jerry the dog. Always love to see Jerry in the mornings taking on that beautiful sight. And if you're planning a walk with your best friend today, well, it is going to be a cold one. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the upper teens to right around 20 this morning. Going into the lunch hour, 27, our 4 o'clock temperature right at 30. But we're expecting more sun to develop today. Yesterday, it took its time getting out. It wasn't until 3, 3.30 that we started to see some peaks of it today, more so throughout the day. Here's a check of the satellite radar loop. Some scattered clouds around the region, but overall quiet. We don't have any flurries or light snow showers to worry about today. With high pressure and control, it's going to keep us dry both today and tomorrow. But this next storm, we are watching, uh, working through California. It's going to cross the Rocky Mountains today and come out into the central part of the country, getting organized once again before it heads our way. It's going to tap into some Gulf moisture and lift it into the Miami Valley. And as that encounters the cold air in place here, we're going to see our biggest snow of this season likely in parts of the Miami Valley this weekend. Southern counties won't see as much, maybe one to three inches down this way. Rain is going to mix in a little sooner, so cuts back on those totals. And then in our south central counties here, two to four inches for Eaton, Dayton, Xenia, just north of 70. The four to six inch zone includes most of dark Miami counties and northern Clark and Champaign counties. And you get to the far northern Miami Valley, five to seven inches beginning Saturday night and continuing into Sunday. Those amounts across the north may have to be increased if that rain snow line doesn't spread that far north. So it's something we'll keep an eye on through the weekend. The track of that storm will determine how much we see. So the big takeaway here is that travel is going to be impacted. Saturday night we get snowy and the roads are going to get snow covered. They're going to be very slick. By Sunday morning, we're going to continue to see some snow in parts of the Miami Valley while some rain develops and mixes in across the south and gradually works north. So snowy or slushy roads, just sloppy Sunday morning. And then Sunday afternoon and night, we're going to see snow continue. And as temperatures drop Sunday night, we switch to icy conditions. Uh, here's future track showing that snow spreading in Saturday evening. Here's 7 p.m. We'll continue to see it work over all of the Miami Valley through 11 o'clock and then continue overnight. By the time we get to 6 a.m. Sunday, rain mixes in across the south and that rain snow line gradually lifts north through noon, getting to the Dayton area and a little farther north mid to late afternoon. But some of those far northern counties may not see much of that mixing and then everybody changes back over to snow going into Monday. Here's your forecast today. We're up to 30. We're going to see some sunshine. Hopefully you can enjoy the bright day. Overnight will drop back to 18. It'll be partly cloudy and then clouds thicken tomorrow with snow arriving by evening, a high near 36 degrees. On Sunday, we're going to see that rain mix in across the south and eventually spread north, a high of 40, so it's going to get sloppy. And then Monday, we're back to snow showers. It does look cold Monday through Wednesday. Highs will be in the 30s.